Before we begin this video, I'd like to point out that we have three new shirt designs available in the link down below, and we're super excited about them, but they're only available for a limited amount of time, so make sure that you check them out. The lighting is finally good on the house. Mm -hmm. King-sized sleep, and there is the smell of breakfast downstairs. stay here. Would definitely recommend it and we feel rested and ready to return to the boat. It was just a nice vacation from vacation. <laughs> Teresa Hamilton, my husband Bill and I own the Fairbanks house right behind us. We were privileged last night to have Herbie and Maddie come in off the boat <laughs> to share a little time with um, a bigger tub than what they have on board. And uh, it was just really, really nice to have these guys in from their incredible adventure. And what added a little bit of icing to our cake is the Baltimore connection. My husband Bill and I uh, lived in Baltimore for many, many, many years. My family's still there. And uh, so it was really great. It's always nice to have a little piece of home with us. Now, they didn't bring crab cakes, but <laughs> it was okay. It was okay because it was our turn to feed them. So uh, we would love to have anybody from Baltimore or elsewhere come join us here at Fairbanks House. It's a 12-room bed and breakfast that is uh, a little more of a luxury thing. So it was nice to pamper them a little bit uh, when they came in off the boat. And we'd certainly love to do the same for you. So thank you guys so much for coming and staying with us. And... We'll catch you coming and going, so come on back. The tide is up. We've never seen this before. <laughs> this is all mud. Usually. It's so calm. Herbie's gonna row our stuff back to sh the boat and then come on back and we'll explore Fernandina a little bit more. just got a text from Jessica and Ryan that they are off our port side. So they just got here from Charleston. So originally, no one was anchored here. And now it's all full of catamarans. Getting our daily dose of dog. Yes. There you go. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. So <laughs> we both put Instagram pictures of the same sunset. We're just going back for food. So. Alrighty. Forgot to turn it off. Yep. Turn the egg. All day. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Let's um. Let's think you over there. Because when I'm on this alone, I've got 22 knots out of it. Wow. On this thing? Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, but once it gets up on the plane, I was like, well, we should be able to do 15 on the way there.
getting ready to leave Fernandina now. The tide is about to change and start flowing us out the inlet, uh, but it's really, really windy, so it's kind of hard to motivate yourself when you're warm and anchored and safe and all that's fine. We're ready, we're dressed, we're all fallied up, and we got a bunch of layers on so we don't get cold at night because it's going down to the 40s, and we're gonna get the anchor up and get rolling. channel has a ridiculous current and we're going out with the current so we're doing 7.6 knots eight. Oh, eight knots over ground but we're not really pushing it that hard uh, it's just we're going out Ooh, with the tide <laughs> Maddie's got first watch, it's 10 o'clock at night, so I'm going to sleep, and she'll stay at the helm. And then around 2 o'clock she's going to wake me up, and we'll trade. It is my turn to sleep. One really nice feature about AIS, at least the receiver, we don't transmit, we only receive the messages of is it lets you know who's out there on the horizon. So I was out on watch and I noticed uh, a green light way out on the distance and I couldn't really tell who it was, how fast they were going, what's going on. So I came inside, looked at the screen and it tells us that that boat's name is Motor Vessel East Coast, They're traveling at 5.8 knots and in 16 minutes they will be at their closest point to us which will be 1.9 miles. So what that means is I see a boat on the horizon and I no longer have to 
worry if we're going to be on a collision course and, you know, watch him and check him and all that mess. I simply can check the AIS, and if we are on a collision course, I know his name so I can radio him and call his name over the radio. So he's more likely to respond. And then we can discuss what's going on and set up a way that we don't run into each other. So AIS is a really nice thing to have. Now, not every boat has AIS, so you can't rely on it as your sole method of watch keeping, so you still have to keep a lookout, but it sure helps for a whole bunch of vessels. And a really nice thing, every commercial vessel, by law, has to have and be transmitting AIS. So all the big guys, they have AIS. It's just us little guys that got to watch out for them. Well, it's starting to change. It's going from the blustery north wind that we were having to soon going to be a south wind. We've had a slight change of plans. We're going to head into Fort Pierce. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much!